Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about wave interactions. Firstly, why do waves interact? Waves don't just transfer energy from one location to another along a simple path. All of the time, waves carrying energy interact with other objects and other waves on their way to their final destination. There are several different ways that waves can interact, including reflection, refraction, diffraction, and interference. Reflection. When a wave hits a surface that cannot pass through and bounces back. This is how echoes form. Also, when you splash waves off of the side of a bathtub or a swimming pool. The way that a wave reflects off of a surface depends on the direction with which the wave hits the surface. As you can see here, we have here a reflective surface, we have an incident ray and a reflective one, and those two are the crests. Parts of a reflected wave. When a wave reflects off of a surface, it creates two angles, an angle of incident and an angle of reflection. Angle of incidence, angle formed between incoming incident wave and a line perpendicular to reflection surface. Angle of reflection, angle formed between reflected wave and the same line perpendicular to reflection surface. Angle of incident right here and angle of reflection normally means that this is a perpendicular line that makes a 90 degree angle. We have also the refraction. Refraction, the bending of a wave as it changes mediums, why does refraction occur? The speed of a wave is entirely determined by the medium through which it passes. As a wave changes medium, say, from air to water, the wave changes speed and can bend. The wave will only bend if one side of the wave enters the new medium first. Usually this happens when waves travel at an angle. This is why objects underwater look distorted because light waves change speed. We also have here the images of refraction. Diffraction, the bending of waves around an obstacle in its path, happens when object is not large enough to reflect the entire wave. After the wave bends, it tends to spread back out and diffraction can occur through a notch or around a bend. To see diffraction in action, click below. Here we, uh, here we have the diffraction and also we have a simulation that we are going to be talking about during.